TIFU by wrapping myself in my blanket like a burrito. It was like 3 a.m. and I was bored. So I wrapped myself in my blanket like a burrito. Roll around while holding the edges. I rolled over. And this was where I made the mistake. My bed is in the corner of my room. And there is a gap between the wall. And my bed. When I rolled over. I fell into the crack and realized I was stuck. The bed was too low to roll over. And out from under the bed. And I was wrapped too tightly to get my hand out. I also couldn't get my hands out because I was being squeezed between my wall and bed frame. I tried to lift my bed open with my legs. But it was too heavy. It took 10 minutes until I could barely get my hand out. I had to move the heavy items out of under my bed. So I could pull myself out. After this. I was completely terrified. And couldn't sleep because I was shaking so hard. TL. Dear I wrapped myself in a blanket like a burrito, I fell in the crack between my bed and wall. And got stuck for 10 minutes before I escaped. Edit. I live with my family, so there was no real danger IG. 6 o'clock news. Redditor found dead trapped between bed and wall. Dead for 3 months before being discovered. I was thinking if it were me cause of death. Asphyxiation by burrito. OMG. One time something like that happened to my son when he was little and as I was pulling him out. From being budged. I was laughing so hard. It was hilarious. I'm glad you're okay. Push the bed towards the wall or away from it or maybe get a life alert. Gift my mans you alright? LOL. This reminds me of the story I heard yesterday. Woman. Presumably. Tried to reach something behind a bookshelf. Got stuck upside down and died that way. Her family was searching for two weeks before noticing a bad smell and finding her. HTTPS. www.nbcnews.com slash id slash dubna 15895965. Well now I'm scared I'm about to do the same thing. I did this when I was probably 5 or 6. But the entire blanket engulfed me. It was probably one of the scariest moments of my life that I can recall today. It took me a few minutes to get free. But I would never again do that ever in my life. Maybe that's why I developed a fear of small enclosed places. Especially places where I can be locked in. Don't read about positional asphyxiation. Dude how high were you? Me sleeping as a burrito every single night. I guess my time has come. I'm sorry, but lol. I would have hulked out in that situation. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.